Um, we also have to thank um, our sponsor and underwriter for these, this program and also our coffee house program, which is Eric and Lisa Barr, who happens to be here tonight. So let's give them a Actually. 
Holy bird poo. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tyler Lord, and as always, I must shout out South High School. <laughs> Doctor, 
Sorry, do you think you're going to be able to save him? <laughs> PhD. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. I do. Lay down on the floor. Okay. <laughs> it won't hurt a bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> want to go back. I think it was a bad idea to start interning at an animal clinic. <laughs> Is that how this started? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mom.
Uh, so, thanks, Amy Poehler. Tina Fey here. And what's your favorite thing about Cher? Her hair. Her hair. Her, hair. Her tweets. Her tweets. They're yeah. going to the salon. Yeah. <laughs>
the bridge is up here. It'll be over soon. <laughs> Yeah. 
actors say. The premise of this game is that there's one actor who can say anything he wants, and that's Joe. And there are two <coughs> actors, uh, who are Grace and Elise, who can only say lines that you, the audience, have written. So we need to come up with two relatively short lines for Elise first. So what's something that you say when you stub your toe? Oh, God. I like old friends. <laughs> what are your lines? Old friends. Alright, and for Elise's other line, um, when you see a rainbow in the sky, what is your first thought? Where's the rainbow? What? <laughs> Wildest thing in your imagination. That's not what I want to know. Zombies. 
Zombies? I like zombie cows. What? 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 Zombie cows. Cows like cows. I don't want zombie cows. Good luck. <laughs>
Cher likes to tell you a little rule about Cher. Cher only speaks in the third person, so it's a bit annoying. Two pages in. Oh. <laughs> all right. So when I open up the book and also the pages, we're going to make all the whoosh sound that I made in my third album. Ready? Whoosh. Ready? Let's practice. Cher's going to bend down. Ready? Whoosh. Oh, Cher likes it. Cher likes it. Cher also studied in the South for a little while and went back to college, so she has a little bit of a Southern accent. Right. So we're gonna start the story, but before I start the story, Sharon needs to ask for what do you want to hear a story about? Who do you want to hear a story about? Ducks. She blinks out for the OJ. Oh, sorry. Sharon's gonna open up the book about ducks, right? <laughs> Here we have someone stalking out a duck. Now, naturally, you would think this is the duck, but Cher likes to shake it up a little bit. <laughs> now, over here, we do have the real duck, who I thought was holding a pair of binoculars, but no. <laughs> Cher isn't shaking it up that much, no. So, you know, we have this, this fine specimen right here. It's a mallard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> and then, then every... I'm going to pull the tab, and okay, we're going to make a movement here on my page. Ready? I'm going to go whoop, whoop. Can we do that? Ready? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ho, 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 ho. Too much, too much, too much. Come on, we're opening it. Ready, ready? Whoop. Who was it? Petting zoo. 
<laughs> we relate. We write an album about it. Am I right? Let's close the book. Oh.
Super Bowl has really gone downhill. <laughs> Grabbing onto her too tight when he's going down the stairs, she breaks the collarbone. She 
dies right there. Blood everywhere. Well, sweet, this is a lot, a lot of tension that I think will be uh, resolved with some crafts, but uh, we'll give you some time to say your words because you need a voice. Well, I think we're going to have to go to Mr. Jones and find out what he's going to do about it.
you know, an average work day going on in this improv realm. Um, and are you the boss? Okay. No. Just kidding. I'm the boss. Kevin Newman's is the boss. Uh, oh, wow. I'm also playing boss. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, he's the boss. And uh, Noah is late to work. And we got to think of a reason why. But when Noah comes in, he's got to guess why he's late to work. Because his, his awesome co-workers will be pantomiming why he's late. And Noah has to figure out how or why he was late because of what they're pantomiming. Does that vaguely make sense? Yeah. I want to hear it again. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. What's the profession you don't need a college degree for? What? Flipping burgers. Flipping burgers. Waste time. McDonald's. Waitress. All right. What is your favorite drink? Now, all right. Cola. Now, Mark. Oh, oh, oh. You know, what's your favorite vegetable? Bill. 
when we tell you, then give it a nice little clap, like a golf clap. Let's try it. Ready? Okay, that's good. No, she kind of half got it. All right, she got it. Now we're going to go along the lines, and we're going to say what our quirk is. Uh, my quirk is a fire alarm that speaks too calm. A newborn who chain smokes. <laughs>
by the minute sometimes. Huh. It's the coconut they put in my cookies. <laughs>
Oh, shoot, I'm sorry, I'm such a... Dunderhead? <laughs>